Hello, my name is Mike Moran. This is Virtual Cowboy Tech Roundup. We're doing a demo today on uh, power supplies, how to troubleshoot them, what we know about them, and uh, what to look for, what can go wrong, what's common. Uh, this is going to involve moving the camera a couple times. Uh, sorry about the uh, shakiness or. Uh, Here we go. Uh, power supplies. We have in front of us on the bench a 480 watt power supply. This is our house brand power supply. We sell them for $15. So uh, most economy machines, the power supply is uh, just swapping it out. is not a very big issue. We do sell power supplies as low as $13. And these are brand new power supplies. And uh, a lot of times they beat out in, in wattage wise and are lighter. Uh, because they're more efficiently made today than they were five years ago. Uh, they usually beat them out in performance and power uh, and everything else. Uh, and here we go. We have a, a little power supply tester here. And uh, this little guy will light up green uh, when you're plugged in on this side. Uh, some of the power supplies do not have, uh, I believe it's a negative 5 reading on here if it's an older power supply. That's one thing that we have noticed. Uh, on this side, we have a Molex connector. This is what the jobby looks like, close up. You got your Molex connector here. That's a 12 volt plus 5 volt. You got your PCI Express tester there. And uh, the PCI Express uh power supplies that we're going to start stocking are right around $25 and uh, they offer everything that our other power supplies offer. Uh, on, mo on most boards there's either a 24 or a 20 pin. Uh, these are a universal power supply. This yellow one is not included in this clip but on this clip here there's four more that will attach to the clip. That's for 24 pin and that's for the 20 pin. Now this may or may not get connected on the board. We have a SATA hookup here for SATA drives and Molex connectors with a SATA extension on that one. Two more Molex connectors and one floppy drive. Now we have this power supply plugged in already. If the switch is off, that is equivalent to unplugging it. If it does not have a switch, make sure you unplug it before working on a power supply ever. We're on a computer. So uh, we want to make sure our fan is not being covered so we can turn this puppy on. And I'm going to plug it into our 24 pin. And we're going to show you what it does here. What's up, Derek? Now here's the time where we have to move the camera. And as I said, we have it plugged into our power strip here. It's uh, on but not the switch is not on yet. So as soon as I liven it up there, you'll see all the lights come on. Uh, the fan also spins on the power supply at that point. To test all these other connectors, your floppy, your SATA, your uh, this will be for a server board and uh, and this four pin here we're going like that and I will take in just a second and uh, and hook it all up to all these connections that I have on this particular power supply and then the other lights will come on so we're going to tip the camera back down so I can do my work. And uh, one thing that we found about power supplies, uh, almost every power supply takes a fuse. I believe every power supply takes a fuse. And sometimes they're soldered onto the board and sometimes they are, sometimes they are not. And uh, simply replacing the power, the power supply fuse uh, may be an option for you and that may be the problem. If it immediately blows another fuse the power supply is going to be bad. And we've also learned from experience that this machine right here can lie to us because it's only testing for uh, a, a current and an amperage. It's uh, 
not testing for continuous under load current and amperage but we're going to turn back to the supply tester and uh, as you see all the lights are lit up here and the floppy 12 volt plus 5 volt so if you unconnect the SATA that 3.3 volt light went out okay so where would the 5 volt be? if I unplug this so this is 12 volt 12 volt 5 volt okay let's turn it off then turn it back on and we still get our 12 and our 5 uh, we hook up the floppy hmm that is very interesting but uh as you see both the lights went off when I unplugged the Molex connector so um, that must not be that must not have that must have to be disconnected before you can do these other tests what the situation is here. Now we get our 12 and our 5 and off. And now we get the 3, the 12, and the plus 5. And then I'll first tell you 3 plus 5, 3.3, 5 volt. So this puppy does test but uh, another thing we found out uh, one leg could be bad on a power supply that's something to look for and uh, to, to pull the fuse out to check it you have to unscrew it with four screws and uh, like I said this is a Logisys power supply we'll plug them they supply uh, our house brand power supply and uh, another thing, uh, some of the some of the power supplies have a little green light on the back of them. Uh, they can lie to you as well. Uh, the power supply can be bad under load and not perform. If you are having a problem uh, with uh, resets, uh, your computer just seems to be resetting for no reason at all. Uh, the power supply could be the issue however uh, from our experience a motherboard going bad problem could uh, also do the same thing and uh, if a power supply can be swapped out with a used one just for test purposes or from another machine it's very easy to pull there's four screws in the faceplate and there's four screws holding the case down uh, of the power supply itself So uh, if you do not have one of these testers, which is 1250, and it's made by Ultra, comes from Tiger Direct. Uh, they do have two packs for 25 hours at, from time to time, or, or cheaper. And uh, they're a nice handy tool, but uh, if you don't have it, you can use a, another power supply to do your testing with. And uh, that's what we know about power supplies. Thank you very much.